Today we're going back into the 90s. Welcome to today. <laughs> We stay in the 90s and we're going to rank some of the best food slash snacks of the 90s. Surprisingly, there's not a ton around that really stuck out to me in the 90s. A lot of stuff you can't buy anymore, but we found a few things that are being popular again and now we're going to rank them. Round one. So we're going to start off with some something that's been very famous in the 90s. You'll notice them on a lot of commercials. Don't you better lay a finger on my butterfinger. Now, now we have <laughs> an old recipe, mm -hmm. which is old now, because if you go to the store right now and buy a butterfinger, likely that you will embark on a new butterfinger experience, and also, not this one. Have you guys had the butterfinger cups? Mm -hmm. They're so okay. good. Mm. So good. So good. Better than Reese's. No, I'm going no, whoa, yeah, whoa. no, I think they're, they're better. They're totally different from Reese's. It's not a peanut butter thing. It's a buttery thing. And I love Reese's. So I love Reese's too. Not more than butter. Or I like them more than Butterfingers. I I enjoy embarking on a. The uh, only thing I don't I love the taste of Butterfingers. One thing I don't like is the stuck in the teeth thing. It's so stucky teethy. All right, Steven, you're going ahead. You gotta wait. Look at you, just going straight at it. Okay, well, I guess. <laughs> yeah, come on. Not as good as the cups. <laughs> is it just me, or is it flavor lacking? Mm -mm. I'm a big fan. This is my, probably my favorite thing we eat today. Out of everything? Mm -hmm. Butterfingers? Mm -hmm. I like it, but I mean... That's not going to be my first sugary snack I grab. Mm. Yeah. I'll go through Reese's own. before that. What do you feel? You st oh, it's pretty good, but they have nothing good to compare it to yet. So. That's right. true. So I we'll start it. with it right in the middle. Round, Round two. two. So, a big thing... Sorry, Steven. I don't know if I put it back here. Big thing that was popular in the 90s couple things 3d doritos and flaming hot doritos now these recently came back out and now mm -hmm. here we are i don't think i i didn't have these in the 90s i don't think as kids we would have had these in the 90s i didn't go for hot stuff ever I mean, this is like a teenage mm -hmm. i feel like this would be like a teenager let's say you're born in 1982 Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. No, I ate a lot of this stuff. You ate spicy I did not I eat spicy, spicy I did not eat spicy food. When you always, were a kid? Yeah, I've always loved spicy food. Mommy, I want some hot fries. Yeah, man. I never had hot fries until... Here, flaming oh. Hot right. Cheetos. Smells Burritos. Corny. I should probably just have them. Oh. Got the Cheeto dust. Ah, oh, ah, oh. ah. Mm. Why didn't we grab anything to drink? That's pretty hot. That's pretty good. Oh, that's so good. That's that's hot. I need, I need, I need another chip. At least, but you can't eat. Oh! You know what's crazy? This is hotter than any of the hot sauces. That's an episode that you'll never see again. Yeah. Because it was horrible. <laughs> I don't want any more. That's... I want more. Like, I like... I like hot stuff sometimes, but I have to, like... I have to dip it in top potato or a dip of some sort. Mm. My favorite oh. thing of all time, flaming hot Cheetos dipped in my grandma's blue cheese. It's so good. That's a weirdly specific thing, but I it's my go-to. And honestly, that might be dipped in my grandma's blue cheese now. Where, By the way, uh, fantastic. Where does that rank between Butterfinger and Doritos? Honestly, I don't... They're totally different. It's not a sweet. It depends on what I'm in the mood for. And if I have dip. You don't have dip. You just have it as I just is. have that as is. I'm going to have to go with the Butterfingers over that. But I like it. What but do you I, feel? 
I'd have to go with Doritos over Butterfingers. I mean, I'm more I'm, of a savory guy anyway. I I normally Butter. am too, like, but I'll break the tie. It's too hot for me. I'm, I'm really I'm a wimp when it comes to that stuff. You also have Crohn's. It does burn on the way out. It's quite bad. Your anus is gonna be bleeding. <laughs> it's, it's gonna be a good night. Um. <laughs> I'm going Doritos above Butterfinger. Wow. Okay. I'm not mad that, about that. Round three. So, it's time to wash clothes. And you live in an apartment building. We have to, well, we're going to spend our Saturday at the laundromat. Well, better get all those quarters because you want to get some Mike and Ikes. I don't understand that transition at all. Like, some people will. Some people. So, instead of doing your laundry, you're buying Mike and Ikes. That's what I'm getting. My mom was doing laundry. I was 11 years old sitting on a laundromat. In the 90s? You were 11? Yeah. (laughs) I'm fairly certain at the highest point of the 90s, you would have been eight. (laughs) Seven. I think some people could share that experience with me. So thanks for waiting. I see you are very (laughs) intuitive. We'll start. There's three left. I only have three. Steven has about 18. How come he got a different color? I don't know. So anyways, Mike and Ike's. Oh, oh, grab one. I just want something other than blue. <laughs> oh, you only have... I'll just stick with the blue. Very chewy. Yeah. It's getting the butter fingers out of my teeth. Um, kind of tastes like the bug juice berry that we had last week. Mm-hmm. Um, it smells like cardboard. Honestly, you guys have never like found one of these machines, and you stick a quarter in, and you turn it, you get like a handful. I went for toys every single time. I never went for candy. you. No, I usually went for candy. <laughs> I wanted the sticky hand thing that you had a long sticky thing, and you'd slap it on things. So blue, berry blue are good. Mm-hmm. Oh, they're both pretty good. Oh, that's a pow! Right straight to the kisser of grape. It's like French kisser. I think I like that one better than the berry glass. Yeah. The grape just came in and wrapped themselves around my tongue. Hugging it. Mm mm. And then grape and. Do way more than that. It's hurting my teeth, though. Oh. High sugar things hurt my teeth, especially when they stick to it. Are you cavities? Sensodyne. No, but I have fillings, and for some reason they're still sensitive. Hmm. Hence the reason I use Sensodyne. I don't. I just crushed. You look like a Colgate guy to me. I do have Colgate. Yeah. Brandon had to go get his Sensodyne. Oh, he got both. Bought you by Colgate, and I thought this was Colgate, but it's Crest. Cinnamon. Ooh. You've been using that all the time now, haven't you? Mm-hmm. What the frick is wrong with you? Oh, that's gross. I brushed my tooth this morning, but I don't think it was enough. Also, I'm doing a palate cleansing. Yeah. All right, now we need to rank where these Mike and Ike's go. All right, are they more savory than a Butterfinger or, or sweet, I mean? What about the Doritos? Well, Doritos are above Butterfingers. Okay. So. And, yep. I don't know. It depends. I'm not really a gummy guy anymore. Occasionally, occasionally, the Jolly Rancher Misfit gummies, I'll eat those every day of my life. But we're not talking about that. We're talking no, about we're Mike not. and Ike. Uh, so. so let's, uh, we don't need, we don't need to put them anywhere. Like I'm going to get a, a PNG action for the audience. Oh, okay. Well then I'm going to say Mike and Ike's are below Butterfingers. I'd say they're above Butterfingers. Brandon, I right say here. they're below Butterfingers. Okay. Well, that, right. that, 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 that figures that out. <laughs> round four. four. All right. So for this next round, we got a classic developed in the 1940s. But made famous in the 90s. We ate it in the 90s. I'm sure you guys did too. And that is... Monday. Yay! Woo! I love this. Ooh, no, that's fine. Oh, oh, oh. oh, what's the other one? You like cherry. You guys like cherry. I'm Someone who hates cherry guy. flavored things, you should eat a lot of cherry flavored stuff. I don't hate it. I just would prefer other things that are not. So 
So, okay. These are the bane of parents' existences. 100%. I've seen kids open these in the store and eat the, just the sugar and then walk out. Ugh. Also, very cheap. These are only like 38 cents a piece. Ooh, that's nice. We're straight sugar in all little candies. All right, so first you... You got to wet and... Yeah. Make that a gift, people. And dip. Dip. Mm. Is that a simple concept? Lick a stick. <laughs> like, imagine being at the facilities, the fun dip facilities. Guys, no, before they invented this, guys, I have an idea. So have a candy, you suck the candy, and then stick it in a powder, and then suck the powder off. Brilliant. And kids will die for it. 100%. Honestly, I can't even taste this. All I taste is toothpaste. And the sugar's not overpowering. Mm. No, it's good. That's I'm, I'm going to taste the stick stick now. All right. Oh, it's so hard! Oh! <laughs> hey. You can't go bite on your stick. This episode is brought to you by Coulter's Chipped Teeth. Um, yeah, I think this is, <laughs> this is bottom for me. It's tasty. I'm never going to go in and buy that yeah. for a nostalgia factor. Do you feel the same way? It's so dry. All right, so fun dip at the bottom. Look at your mess. Am I sexy <laughs> now? <laughs> Love me long time.